serving the American people, but you're serving your team. Your team is your lifeline. It's the most important thing to you downrange. There is nothing more important to you in a hairy situation than your teammates. There's no thanks in this line of work. Don't come here expecting someone to say thank you so much for what you're doing. You'll get that from civilians walking on the side of the road just for being in the military. Here, you do the mission, you recock, and you go out again. No one will know what you're doing. No one will know where you are. No one will know what you're working in. They're not gonna know the, the context of your job. You're gonna be out there with your team. When you leave that country, come back home, that's it. The caliber of people I work with is the highest of caliber. They've been through assessment selection, they've been deemed, but ultimately their moral caliber and their ability to handle themselves as a normal person from their day-to-day -day life is the highest caliber of people I've ever worked with. I would go anywhere and do anything with any one of these guys that I work with. So our training that we're participating in here is designed to enhance the overall operator. Driving is always a plus. Having that advanced driving capability to recognize the road ahead of you, identify dangers and avoid them is not only survivability stateside, it's also increasing your survivability oconus on deployment. Learning to take vehicles to their threshold, you're learning where that vehicle's braking point is. Center of gravity is going to change the point that's dangerous for you and your team. It's life-saving in the sense that if you're in a situation where you have to do evasive driving, aggressive driving, you know what that vehicle's capable of and how to, how to use that vehicle to your advantage how to maneuver in traffic, out of traffic, get around vehicles, get out of situations, and always have a way out. It just really teaches you how to manipulate your vehicle, understand your vehicle, just so if you're ever in that situation, you have all the tools you need to be successful. Shooting is always a plus. The ability to precisely put around where you need to greatly enhances the survivability of the team and reduces collateral damage and increases mission success. The piece of what we're being taught the rifle range, an average person's reaction time is a quarter of a second. So when a target presents itself, you have a quarter of a second to react to a change and act on it. So you start at the low ready, the target presents itself, you have a quarter of a second to get your sights on target and squeeze the trigger and make sure it's accurate and dead center. In a vehicle, getting out of a vehicle, taking cover, um, exchanging fire, that aspect, versus standing online and just shooting paper targets all day. I'm working on basic marksmanship skills. Most of the guys here have done that, we're at that level, and, and we're looking for the next level of training, and, and that's absolutely what they're capturing for us here. We're shooting in civilian attire, where all we have is a concealed weapon, and we have to react, or we might be in a full kit. As our training, we were prepared to do anything that's required of us and anything that might be interesting us to accomplish. Our adversaries overseas are, are learning our ways, so we're having to shift and adjust our training and, and do things differently. So every day is, is learning. You, you can never walk around and think that you have it all, know it all. The men to my left and right, they have a sense of drive, they have a sense of pride. There's just something about them that you'll never find anywhere else. If somebody's thinking about MARSOC, what I would say to them is, go for it. It never hurts to try. The only thing that's ever going to hurt is your pride, but just pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and do it again.